Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Dina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. lighter than I thought. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Alright, on to the next one.
I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! Toilet paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story?
Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Was I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I, I really enjoyed it. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Interesting. First, did these folks order? <phone rings> hmm, well, I guess nobody's home. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. See you Sunday. Talking way too loud, and you're talking rude. You're playing rocket, driving me insane. Your heart is back, and it's the fact, no turning back. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence. Break down, bounce, bounce, 
Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. She seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm, well, it better. It will. I'm sure it will. I'm sorry, it's just that business is slow and... Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them, please? Hmm. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. It's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. 
I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Hey, Em! Em! Up here! Hiya! Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. I have to what? On, on the what now? It's fine! Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Ew, ugh. Did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. On the whole, it's been really good. And the company I work for has a major break coming up, so... That's interesting. Oh, that sounds great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly is something to think about. I can imagine Providence Oak seems boring by comparison. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know, and me to find out. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? Did you end up going to college? Yeah, uh, about that. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner. Barry and I reconnected. We 
got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. And then? Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan. Picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. They basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah, seems like it's time. Come on, then. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster Deal. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing! Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. Ha! Huh, maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. 
I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh. Well, maybe. I think... Working at your father's shop could be a great opportunity, too. Grow the business, expand to other towns, set up a whole chain of shops. I suppose, but I don't think that's really what I want to do, though. But maybe other villages aren't so boring? Plus, the lake is pretty sweet. And I would miss my parents if I left. And this way, I could stay with them, even after school. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe working in Dad's shop isn't so bad. See? P.O. is as fun as the people living in it. And it could really use a girl like you. Ah, thank you, Meredith. Also, for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later!